Hi, um, I'm making another talk video. I'm back. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I've already showed you all my uh, weathered freight cars. And um, I showed you my weathered GP40. I don't know if you saw these two cars. I haven't got to weather him yet, but I have done the uh, scratching with the uh, sandpaper. I'm going to kind of uh, fade, like, you know, give him a... See? See the... Um, word well you can tell by looking at it that it's scratched and I've made it look different um I'm gonna get some uh, rust brown spray paint I'm out of it and uh finish that up and also in this video I'm gonna show you something I made and I'm gonna tell you about in my first video and um I'm gonna show you uh, a caboose that I did uh here um this caboose I spray painted and uh took a black sharpie and uh, wrote the decals and the letters or the numbers number on it I put 5286 means I made it to where it's supposed to go with him 5287 and um, I put the little warning sign on the door in the front I got the top of it I colored it and I couldn't find that one little piece so I kinda got a little creative and I put a Phillips head screw up there <laughs> Yeah, I bet everybody's going to think that's funny. Um, I put, uh, I don't know if you can see it. But, um, right there I put, uh, Operation Lifesaver, Don't Race Trains, and all that stuff. And then I put, uh, right there all the little warning features, number, name, all of it. It's all here. The only thing you'll learn is this is a lifelike caboose. It's not a regular caboose like a Bachman one like this. That's a Bachman caboose. Ooh, ooh, let's not drop it. That's a Bachman caboose. Um, I'm going to uh, also uh, take you outside. That, that caboose goes with that engine. But I'm going to also take you outside and show you all a uh, um, train outside that I have. It's my outside layout. Also, I meant to show you all this train car, but I weathered it too. It's been weathered. This ain't been weathered because that's not my train car. It goes with that train. It's my friend's. This is another one of my friend's cars. And then that's my friend's car. So pretty much that one, that one, that one, and the caboose. Are all my friends' cars. Which, just so you know, um, when I get another Athern DCC GP38-2 or GP, I'm gonna get rid of my Bachman because uh, I don't do Bachman. I do Athern, as you can tell. There's Athern case for the uh, GP38-2. We got the website, which I'm already signed on there. I've already looked that up. And then we got this the little decal. I mean, not decal, but all the um, parts. Like, if you're missing any, you can order some. GP38 or GP40-2. So, pretty much that's all good. So, with this, I could keep him and him up to date on anything it needs. Also, I have my Athern case for him. This guy, he doesn't have the DCC quick plug, but he is DCC. That's what you'll learn. And then here's the one for the Athern AC4400 CW, my baby. That's my baby. But uh, I bought, I got him for 80 bucks, 85 dollars, 85.69 for with tax. Um, got the little sleeve you slide it out and then you lift the top of it off which I like that and then we got the the uh, order form if you missing any parts it shows you everything you need not stuff and I learned that you can um make this a c40-8 too like a c40-8 or something because you could take the cab of it off and replace the cab with something else but that'll never happen because 
I like AC 4100 CWs. Which, by the way, I'm wanting to get a Norfolk Southern, which you've heard in my videos. And then the box car right there, the CSX. Um, it's Atherton too. It was $17.99. I got it um, at Hobby Town. This and I got off of uh, www.atherton.com, and then I got that at Hobby Town. Which after I ordered this off, uh, no, actually no, I ordered. Which one? What did I order? No, I got the engines at Hobby Town, both of them. I got the train car with my grandfather. My grandfather got me the train car, and he passed away. And um, which one did I order? Oh well, duh. I'm getting I'm getting stuck with the one yesterday. You remember that one? Passenger car, passenger slash baggage car. Yeah. Um. Well, uh. Show you all a few other things. I can draw too. I'm a really good uh, artist. I can draw pretty much about any kind of train you want me to. Um. I'm thinking on drawing this. That right there. Not this, but I mean the train and then it go back there and then you see the clouds and see the track and all that. Yeah, I'm thinking on doing that. You got the headlight facing out here. Yeah. Um We got pictures of uh my favorite trains. We got A C forty grind C W S D seventy Mac. B40-8, pretty much all of them, SD50s, and, well, that's Lionel, and then up here is some trucks, which y'all have seen, and the hood's on them open, sorry, the hood opens, doors open, but with this, and it's uh, a little different, it's way more realistic plus it's got the uh, airlines back in there I'll take the trailer off see you got the airlines right there steering front axle so pretty much you got a detailed truck you got tilting fifth wheel on both of them all right I like planes too. I uh, built this one. It's a U25. It's a B25 Mitchell. Um, I also uh, built a Titanic. I can't remember what I did with it. It's not sitting up there anymore. Um, well, let's uh, get outside before the time runs out on the camera. I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing for the past three weeks I've been off of train life. I'm going to show y'all what I've been working on. I've been working on this over here. My uh, outside layout. It's O scale. And uh, it is made for outside because I read the instructions to him. Finally, my rower crossing is dry. Check that out. It's actually uh, dry enough for the train to run across it. But, um, we pretty much got everything. We got the train sitting there. And I haven't got power hooked up to it yet, which it don't matter. This is a dummy anyways. Y'all seen it in my pictures. I did have them for sale. But I decided to take up the old train that used to be out here, which was a, um, uh, it was a, uh, it was one of them, um, switchers. It was a, uh, uh, Alco switcher. Uh, I think it was, uh, I don't know, it's a Chattanooga on the side of it. It was funny. Um, pretty much we got it all there. Um, I got the track, it goes down. Got gravel working around it, and then it goes all the way down. There's a rower crossing a truck with a container on the back. And it goes and goes and goes, and then it goes into there. And the track ends on the other side. And we got a little town, 
that I've built. It's my making little paths with my hand. And um, then we got an intersection there. It goes to that railroad crossing. And then we got an abandoned railroad. It's supposed to be like the train track, which it did at one time. There used to be a switch track sitting there, and it would go up here. And uh, it uh, comes out. It goes into the dirt, comes back out, and then it goes back in, and comes right back out. Then it goes back in, and then comes back out. And it used to go across this, across the road, in a road across it, and go over here to the lumber mill. And the lumber mill used to sit right there. As you can see, there's some lumber sitting there. And, well, that messed up. Because uh, the cats uh, started digging around. But I got some better track for it. And uh, these are metal tracks with plastic roadbed. Actually, it's more of like a, I don't know how to say, pronounce it. It's just made for outside. And then we got that pickup truck sitting in the town. Pretty much just a small little town running through here. Then we got a log truck and pretty much anything you could think of. We got it. I got it here. But, um, and then this road is closed because it got run over. But, um, as you see, I got the closed sign. And it goes, and this is actually the highway. <laughs> it goes all the way down here, and then we have a truck stop right there. And it keeps going and going and going. It goes up into the mountains. And, um,. And right here it splits off into a two lane, which means a four lane, and it keeps going. And then it goes back into a, a single lane, or two lane, and it goes all the way down here. And then it has an intersection right there, which that intersection is missing, which I'm wanting to work on that road again and get it going that way. And then pretty much that's it, but uh, I got to get going. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a... Uh, some sound for my CSX, but I haven't been able to find any that I like. I found a few, but they suck. So I uh, hope you like the video. Um, just give me a holler if you want a new one. Let me know, and I'll be glad to. All right, bye.